Hello, boys and girls. This is Pastor Sean from Armenian Christian Fellowship. We're so glad that you're here with us today to celebrate virtual VBS. Even though we can't be together with each other one-on-one -on -one or in the church celebrating, we can be with one another through the internet. And we can do that because the Holy Spirit brings us together online as we worship with one another in our homes. Would you pray with me as we um, prepare our hearts to start our time together? Let's do that. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you so much that you are with us today as we worship online. Father, I pray that you would send your Holy Spirit to us to teach us through Nancy's lessons, through Rosie's craft, through the singers and the dancers that we'll get to dance with and sing with online. We pray that you would teach us and be with us today and bless our time. We pray these things in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome, boys and girls, to our Rocky Railway Vacation Bible School. I am Miss Nancy, and I'm so happy you're joining us today. Get ready for a fun time full of singing, dancing, craft time, and meeting some new friends on the Rocky Railway. Today, we will discover that trusting in Jesus will pull us through life's ups and life's downs. Now, are you ready? Here we go. Everybody stand up. Get your singing voices ready and dancing feet ready as we join our worship team in singing, Your Power Will Pull Us Through. Take it away. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need, your power will pull us through, we're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. Hope and life that's forever, you make us bold, and we stand together. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. We're off on this journey, there's no looking back. With Jesus to lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, oh, oh. We're on the right track, oh, 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 oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise, oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need, your power will pull. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. Great job, everyone. Give yourselves a hand. Good job singing. 
Okay, so are you ready? Today's main Bible point is Jesus' power gives us hope. We are going to discover how Jesus' power can give us hope and peace. No matter what problems we are going through in life, whether it be feeling scared of this yucky coronavirus, being stuck at home every day and you can't go to school and see your friends, you can't go out and play sports, you really kind of are stuck. There are lots of troubles and worries in our lives that can be sometimes really hard and sometimes pretty scary. But the Bible clearly tells us we have some great news. When we trust in Jesus, his power gives us hope. Okay, now let's memorize our Bible verse of the day. And we are going to use some hand motions to help us remember it. Boys and girls, I'd like for you to stand up with me right now. And we're going to do this together. But first, the first time, I just want you to watch me with your eyes. And then you will join me the second and third time we'll do it together. Okay? Are we ready? Here we go. Just watch me this time with your eyes. So be strong and courageous all you who put your hope in the Lord. Psalm 31, 24. Okay, did you get it? Pretty easy, right? Okay, here we go. Let's do this together now. Everybody stand up, get your hands ready. Here we go, and I want you to say the verse with me too, okay? Here we go. One, two, three. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. Psalm 31, 24. Did you get it? All right, one more time. Here we go, last time. Okay, ready? One, two, three. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. Psalm 31, 24. Good job, everyone. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for joining me with today's Bible verse. Well, boys and girls, are you ready for some fun? We are about to meet some new friends on the Rocky Railway. As we join the scene, it looks like there's been a big rock slide blocking the train tracks with giant rocks so that the train can't even move. And there's no hope that it can deliver its cargo. Have you ever faced a situation where there was something blocking your way and you felt hopeless? because you didn't know what to do or what to say? You know, in a way, it reminds me of what we're all going through these days with the coronavirus stuff and how it's been blocking our ability to go to school, play sports, hang out with our friends, go to church, and give high fives to each other. Well, today, with the help of our friends, Shavarch, Shoke Garkian, Rostom Karpushelian, and Hachik Chuchuyan. We're going to see what it means to face the situation with hope. Together, we are going to discover how having hope can help us through our difficult situations. But not just any kind of hope, hope in the power of Jesus because Jesus' power always pulls us through. Wow! It says here in the Railway Gazette that there was a rock slide last night. I knew I heard some commotion about that. That's not a good thing. Gosh, I wonder if there's anybody here that can actually tell us what happened. Oh, maybe he knows something. Excuse me, Six sir. Six feet apart. Do you work here? Do I work here? <laughs> Friend. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. In fact, uh, I don't just work on these trains. 
I drive the train. Wow. The name's Rachik Chuchuyan. And I'm the engineer on the railroad here. Oh, Khachik, nice to meet you. My name is Shavar Shoke Garkian. Oh, wow, an engineer with the name like Khachik Chuchuyan? You must really love trains. Yeah, when you know trains as well as I do, they become a part of you. Whoa, that's deep. Hey, you know, uh, me and some of my friends here were just kind of trying to figure out what this uh, rock slide was about that we heard about. Oh yeah, you heard right. These huge boulders came rolling down the mountain and landed right on the track. Oh. Excuse me, excuse me. Did someone say boulders? Oh. Uh, who are you? My name is Rose Dome. Rose Dome Car Push Relion, the Stone Breaker. I'm in charge here of the really rowdy rock and roll railroad Romanian Wranglers. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot. The R R R R R R R. W man, Wranglers, really. So last night, me and my crew, we spent the entire night working on this railroad. We picked up boulders, we swept, we used shovels. There were big, heavy boulders, and I'm sorry to tell you, damage was done to the rails. <sighs> That's a whole other problem. Now we're stuck here. Look, it's okay, Hachik. It's going to get fixed eventually. Eventually? Eventually is not okay. Do you know what this train is carrying? No. Actually, I do know what it was carrying. Small boulders. Little boulders? Actually? M&M's. Can you even begin to comprehend how much people love their M&M's? If we can't get off this mountain, then we can't deliver the M&M's. And if the M&M's don't get delivered, then people will get mad at us. And if people get mad at us, then they'll yell at us. And if they yell at us, then I'll get scared because I don't like when people get angry at me. So maybe we should just stay on this mountain forever because then the angry people won't find me. But the <gasps> oh, Chuchuyan, are you OK? What happened? Yeah, I guess I just ran out of steam. Do you need a hand? Come on. Here you go. <laughs> well, hey, look, the track's gonna get fixed eventually. So, you don't have to worry about it. No one here is upset at you. These are all your friends, and you know what we think? That you, you're pretty cool. No, no, the situation is hopeless. All I want to do is get on my train, blow the whistle, and chug away. Doo, doo. Oh, Hachi, don't lose hope. Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. You must find your happy place like me. Now, close your eyes and picture yourself on that beloved train. Yeah. Ooh. Driving my train. Aye. Happy place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, first you go over a bridge. Right, then you go up a hill. Then you go around the bend. And then you enter a dark tunnel. It's dark out there, but all of a sudden you look straight ahead and there's a light at the end of the tunnel and you start moving closer to it and you open your eyes. Do you see it? Wow! Now I really see it. Yes, yes, that's exactly what hope is. When life is dark and hopeless, Jesus' power gives us hope. So, when you feel like there's no hope, trust Jesus. I guess it does make a lot of sense to put my hope in someone who won't let me down. Yes. Or get mad about m and True. Hey, what do you guys think you're doing? Stop eating those M&M's. Put those back. Oh, yikes. It looks like your crew's getting pretty hungry. Those M&M's are in danger. Uh, hey, guys, stop. Wait, hey, Julian, look out for the M&M boulder. Oh, he doesn't look good. He looks like he needs our help. Let's help Let's him. Let's go get him. A big thank 
you to Hachik Chuchuyan Rostom Karpushrelian and Shabash Shokegarkian for teaching us that whenever we have big problems, Jesus' power gives us hope. Now, we're going to watch a cartoon video of a true story that happened in real life during Bible times. And this story is found in the book of Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 through 41. Jesus and his best friends, the disciples, got on a boat and went out to sea when all of a sudden a huge storm started tossing their boat left and right and up and down. The disciples thought they were going to die and they were so scared and they started panicking because they thought that all was finished. Their boat was going to sink. So let's watch and see what Jesus does to solve this huge problem. Stories of the Bible. Jesus calms the storm. This is Jesus. hey -oh. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. One day after preaching to a crowd of people, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. You got it. So they got into a boat and started out. Other boats followed him too. And as they sailed across, Jesus fell asleep. Uh -oh. But soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water and they were in real danger. The disciples went and woke Jesus up, shouting, Hey, Jesus, wake up! Save us! We are going to drown! Don't you care if we drown? Jesus responded, Why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves, saying, Silence, be still. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Where is your faith? The disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. When he gives a command, even the wind and waves obey him. Wow, kids, did you just see how Jesus was so powerful? Did you notice what Jesus did during the storm after the disciples ran to him for help? Jesus commanded the storm to stop and the waters calmed down. Jesus gave the disciples hope that he can handle their big problem. What are some things that we can learn from this lesson? First, we just saw how Jesus stayed in the storm with the disciples and he never left them. Isn't that pretty awesome? That tells us that Jesus will never leave us when we are in a storm of big problems. Second, we saw how Jesus responded and helped the disciples after they ran to him for help. And so what does that mean for us? It means we need to run to Jesus first with our problems so that then he can respond to us and help us. And third, Jesus told the disciples they do not need to be afraid when there's a big problem. You just need to strengthen your faith in Jesus. And that, my friends, is an awesome, awesome story, isn't it? So how does this story in the Bible apply to our daily lives? Well, sometimes we can have storms or problems in our life. So maybe, maybe you have people 
in your family that are fighting or yelling and maybe it makes you feel scared or sad and maybe you have a family member who's really sick or maybe you're scared that you might get the coronavirus because that's kind of scary, right? Maybe you have friends that are bullying you and that makes you feel sad. Maybe you might be scared of the dark. I know I was when I was little and that made me feel scared. And maybe you're getting in trouble with your parents and you just keep getting in trouble and you don't know what to do about it. Ugh. These storms and these problems can weigh us down and make us feel heavy and sad and just not happy. So what is the answer to all these problems that we're carrying on us? The Bible says we need to take all our problems to Jesus and just give it all to him. He is strong enough to handle all of it. So how can we do that? By praying and asking Jesus to take care of our problems and he will help us through it. Just like the disciples in that storm. Did you know that we can actually give our problems to Jesus when we pray? And then we don't have to feel scared or sad. Instead, we can trust in Jesus to take care of us no matter what happens. And that, my friends, is faith. Trusting in Jesus no matter what happens in our lives. And so now, because I know that and because the Bible tells me that I can take this problem and give it to Jesus, this is where Jesus died, on the cross for us. And he says, I will take your problems and handle them for you. So if your family is fighting, you can pray and give that problem to Jesus. And if your friends are bullying you, you can pray and you can give that problem to Jesus. And if your family member or you are sick, you can pray and talk to Jesus and give him that problem. And this one got away from me. If you're scared of the dark, you can pray and ask Jesus to make you brave. Ah. <sighs> I feel so much better, don't you? Don't you feel so light and happy now that now I don't have to carry those problems on my shoulders. I've given them all to Jesus and so can you. Isn't that awesome? Jesus will take care of you and he will take care of me just as he promised. And that is how Jesus's power gives us hope and we can feel strong and courageous every day. Now, let's get ready to do our VBS craft. You will need one piece of paper, like construction paper or a white piece of notebook paper or copy paper, and some markers or crayons. And now, here we go with our VBS craft with Miss Rosie. Take it away, Rosie. Thanks, Miss Nancy. Hi boys and girls, today we're going to make an origami boat. I hope you all have your piece of paper and a marker ready. Well first what we're going to do is we're going to take your piece of paper lengthwise and we're going to fold it in half like this. And then we're going to fold it again in half with this creased side going to the top. Now I'm going to ask you guys to open it up and we're going to get your marker out and we're going to write something right here. We're going to write, Jesus' power gives us hope. That's our message. You remember that from Miss Nancy's talk, right? 
So now everybody, and if you can't write down, ask um, your mom or your dad or an aunt and uncle or grandpa or grandpa or whoever's around to help you write it. So we're going to write Jesus' power gives us hope. And then we want to make sure we write a cross because that represents Jesus. So we'll close that up, close it back up, Whoop, now we close it up. We're going to take this corner, fold it down like this, make a little triangle. We're going to do the same to the other side, just like that. Then we're going to flip it over to this side, do the same, make a little triangle. and another triangle on this side. So you should have a shape that looks something like this. Is everybody following along? Great, let's keep going. So now, that, that folded edge right here, we're gonna take that and we're gonna fold another triangle to meet the first two that we made. It's gonna be like this. And the other side is gonna go like that. Okay, now we're getting close to seeing what, we're, what we've made. So we're going to take this side right here, we're going to fold it down, just like that. And then the other side, we're going to fold down like this. And then we have a boat, and the boat represents our lives. When we're in troubled waters, Jesus' power gives us hope, and he's in the boat with us all the time so we never have to worry. When we pray and ask him for help, he will calm the storms and give us peace. Well, boys and girls, I hope you had a great time doing this origami craft, and we hope to see you next year at VBS or at church on Sundays. Bye. Welcome back, boys and girls. I hope you had fun making your origami boats. Pretty cool, huh? So every time you look at that boat, Remember our main Bible point of the day. Jesus' power gives us hope. Can we say that one more time? Ready? Here we go. Jesus' power gives us hope. Good job. And now let's review our Bible verse of the day one more time. Do you guys remember it? Are we ready? Okay, here we go. All right. One, two, three. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. Psalm 31, 24. Did you get it? All right, good job. So proud of you. Now, boys and girls, today we have learned a lot about Jesus. And if you would like to become part of God's family and ask Jesus to come into your life so he can help you and guide you every day, we are gonna bow our heads and pray this prayer together. The Bible says when we do this, that we will be saved. And one day, you will go to live with God in heaven. Isn't that great news? Please join me in this prayer. And let's come to the Lord with a lot of respect right now, okay? So let's bow our heads and close our eyes and pray this prayer with me together. Dear Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner and I do wrong things every day. I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died on the cross for all the wrong things I do. And then you rose again from the dead and became alive. I turn away from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and my life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. If you just prayed that prayer and sincerely want to follow and trust in Jesus, you have now become a part of God's family. Congratulations, there are angels singing in heaven, rejoicing over you becoming a part of God's family. Now, to follow Jesus every day, pray and ask for his help 
every day. Read the Bible regularly. The Bible is God's word. It is our instructions for how to live our life. So read the Bible. And then third, join us at church every Sunday to learn more about how awesome Jesus really is. Boys and girls, we hope you had lots of fun today at our Rocky Railway VBS. We want you to know that all of us here at Armenian Christian Fellowship love you, and we are praying for you and your families. God bless you, take care, and see you all soon on the Rocky Railway. Hey guys, we love you here at Armenian Christian Fellowship, and we just want to invite you children, and also you families, to church on Sundays at 1.30. We have kids' church for you every single Sunday at 1.30. We also can't wait for you guys to enjoy our slideshow that's coming up. And throughout the ministry, throughout the weeks, we have so many ministries planned out for you guys. We want you guys to get plugged in. We have youth group. We have Bible studies and community groups. Check us out at acfoc.com. And you can also visit our YouTube page at acfoc.com as well. God bless you and God be with you. Thank you for tuning in.